Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we have a guest here and she's going to introduce herself. So she's going to be talking about her relationship life, how she manages her time as a backpack student. So you guys don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below. Thank you, God bless. Hey guys, so we have Miss Shayton on our vlog today and we're going to be asking her a few questions about her personal life and her time management as a Babcock student. Okay, so Miss Shayton, how do you manage your time as a Babcock student in school? Your time with people, your time with God and your time with your books and studies. How do you manage your time? Mm -hmm. Please, could you share with us? Guys, management of time has not really been easy as a Babcock as a backup student, but it's been all good. So going for lectures, print, having your personal time with God. I start personal life, with personal time with God, and end it with God every day. So starting with God, God will guide you through, help you, and know what to do for the day. After that, going for lectures, going for lunch, coming back to the hall, praying to God, trying to read your books, at the same time, I've just been on board. So are you trying to tell us now that, like, we know we ha you have five days of lectures. Are you trying to tell us that you don't have activities where you have um, time to spend with your friends, fun times to watch movies? Because what you've just told us now is just basically your books and God. At least, you know, you definitely have those times where you have to, like, just with your friends about what's happening in school. So, like, enlighten us about those times. What time do you do all those things? You at night, in the afternoon when you don't have classes, or you know, you know what I'm trying to talk about now. You're a student, so you should know. So the best time to just my friends right, is in the evening, cause the weather will be so cool. So probably maybe my roommate or my friend might just bring up a matter, maybe a, a, a viral video or a viral um, chat or anything going on on the social media. We we'll just talk acting it up and all so just staying with my friends that has been part of me um I'm, I'm in love with just yes let me just sit that way so just staying with my friends i just there every night every evening time there's no time without just staying. there's no time there's no day without me not just seeing my friends we just every time we just every day and we just every moment let me just sit that way okay thank you very much so as a backpack student an english student to be precise how do you um speak to people out there you know how do you um your relationship with people how do you um partner with people out there or do you just keep to yourself or you know you talk to people around you you're very friendly how do you do that like how do you create a friendship with people around you everybody watching this video and see she hates on you know she hates on does not keep to herself like I'm a very free person. I talk to people. I meet. I I mingle with people. Even people that I don't know. I really want to make friends with them. So that has just been. It's just part of me. I don't have to create that in me. That is the real shit. So like me mingling with people, meeting new people because I'm an extrovert. So I love meeting people. I love mingling with people. Okay, so we all. In the beginning of this video, we asked you about God and all that. We know that you're a very godly person and your relationship with God is very strong. So how do you out there, when you talk to people, how do you tell them about God? How do you pass information to them about God? You know, because some people don't know about God. So how do you like spread the word to people about God and who God is? How do you, you know, you know what I'm trying to say? So how do you do that? <laughs> I've not been trying my best, but I've been doing what I can do just to make people ask. Or bring people so for Christ. So for an example, a lady might just be depressed, or probably maybe a lady or a guy might just be worried about is our mid semester or a particular lecturer saying, Oh God, God, ah uh, she told this lecturer is this, this lecturer is that, this lecturer is this, this lecturer is that. And I'll be like, I'll just have to smile because I've also been in their position whereby I had no other option than to meet God for it. So I'll just meet them and say, Have you spoken to God about this? And they will tell me no. I'll say go and talk to your God first. Then come and meet you too and talk to me. So. Okay, so sorry to intrude into your personal life, but you know we we'll have to like this is like 
a personal life with Satan. So we have to ask you a few personal questions. So now, as a student of Babcock University and as a child growing up, her godly foundation is on Christ. How do you like relationship? You know, the whole boyfriend and girlfriend relationship thing. How do you see? It? Like, how do you, you know, embrace it? Do you see? Do you need to like enlighten us on how you um, balance your relationship life with God and your, you know, boyfriend and partner relationship? Tell us how enlighten us a little bit. First of all, Shaita is single. I am single. I am single. No relationship. No boyfriend. Yes. But I think nothing bad. Is. Having a boyfriend or having a girlfriend, as long as you both have a plan for the future, you, you can see something in the future. You can't just go into a relationship that will lead you nowhere. If you know me, the moment that I decided that, okay, if you if you are not God's chosen, okay, if I'm praying about you, if you come to me and ask me out, and I pray about you and this and this, I will tell you what, what are your intentions for me. Is it just dating or getting married? So what's the essence of, I don't support a relationship whereby boyfriends and girlfriends, all they do is to do something like, they don't have a vision for the future. But I support boyfriends and girlfriends whereby they start on a godly relationship. Having a vision of getting married, having kids, as long as God wishes. So having a future of, having a vision for the future of getting married, having kids and all. And then pray to God to help you. I feel that is okay than just being, being in a nonsense relationship. Sorry for me saying nonsense relationship because something visionless relationship that you are just going in and not having anything to gain in the future. So, what you're trying to tell us now is that, as what you're telling your viewers watching this, is that as a child of God or as a student, when you get into a relationship, your relationship should be deeply rooted in Christ, you have a godly foundation and the partners, both partners you have visions. Is that what you're trying to tell us? Yes. Okay. Vision for the future. If you don't have, please don't go into it. Because it might lead you nowhere. That's good. And you might later have regret. Okay, so last thing, last question we'll ask you. So in few years time, after a bad pop, what do you plan on doing? Where do you see yourself? You know? Like, how do you want to be a leader, a good leader? You know, people are looking up to you, younger ones are looking up to you. So, how do you want to, like, um, be that leader everybody wants to be? Do you get so it just enlighten us a little with this few moments we have with Shayton? So, my leadership roles have started right from the time, like right from now, if you know Shayton very well. So, I've been into leadership roles and all because I love to be a leader. I am a leader. So, in the next few years, after my university having now got to do my masters that's the one after that coming back to nigeria for a reality show a reality show by then you will know it a reality show then after that if you trying to strike my life strike a balance in my life making god um coming set my life in the right place for me then probably after i'll make money then just get married and have my own so lastly, and our money on a scale from one to five, we want you to please arrange your top priorities from one to five. Just give us your top five priorities as a student of Bako. God, my degrees, my leadership roles, my people, Bako University people. Thank you very much guys for watching this video so guys thanks for watching this video don't forget to like subscribe share and comment